And the name is... For one and a half years, my game has gone unnamed. And even though the latest devlog did well, I feel that the name has a big impact on the itch.io page performance. But before I reveal the name to you guys, let me tell you the decision making process. When you download the game, you will probably see a folder called info. This folder contains the file called lore.txt, and that contains the backstory of the game that happened around a thousand years ago. To sum it all up, a powerful wizard named Adrelek created a device that could steal the life force from the living. This helped the Cyclops people of Monri fight off the human invaders. Adrelic was betrayed by the Maunri Council of Chiefs because they didn't like the dark magic he was using. Adrelic and his followers marched on the council and killed them all and ruled Maunri for a century. The Cyclopsian people of Maunri eventually overthrew the cult that had ruled over them, resulting in the capital city, where the Council of Chiefs used to live, being burned to the ground and Adrelic suffering multiple burns in an arrow into his heart. In a last ditch effort, Adrelek cast his own life force and consciousness into the device he created, stating that he will rise again when the two moons eclipse. The whole story slips into legend. Adrelek's device becomes known as the Artifact, and his followers grow and are known as the Adrelek Cult. This was my inspiration for the name of the game. And the name is... Ruins of Monri. Go check out the revamped itch.io page. The link is in the description and is the same one I plastered all over the videos about the prototype release. And speaking of that, I've gotten to work at rewriting a lot of my game for the new 2.3 version of GMS2's IDE. I've been working on some improvements and optimizations to the GUI system, and I have some other things in the work. But that'll have to wait for a bit longer.